these hot rod builders and they'll tell you it's nice to go to a place where they can share their appreciation with people that are as crazy about cars as they are well we're going there right now to st louis missouri for the street machine nationals hot rods, street rods, and cruisers. They assemble 5,000 of these high-performance machines once a year to the delight of thousands of spectators who travel from all over the U.S. For the aficionado, it's a three-day muscle car Mardi Gras known as the Street Machine National. Street Machines, this is probably one of the biggest events a guy could uh, come to during the year. This is a good place to strut your stuff. Let everybody see what you've got. You worked nine months, you got to let everybody know how hard you worked. It's a first for the city known as the Gateway to the West. And this weekend, the familiar roar of road racing from the St. Louis Raceway will give way to an American art form that's been on the upswing for the past 10 years. And for some participants, it's taken that long to get their cars here. It took close to 10 years to build a car. And I know I've spent over four years on an automobile. The CarCraft Street Machine Nationals is a hot rodder's dream come true, the perfect body, engine and wheels, blending individual craftsmanship and ingenuity. But most of all, these creators of motor mania stress originality. So there's about actual dollar-wise, there's probably about 15 grand. Just that's actual dollars, no labor involved at all. And with, with the labor, if you were to get a real minimal amount on labor, there's about 65,000. To know why this phenomena has developed, one needs to understand the motivation of those who create a street machine. I started with a 55 Chevy in high school and graduated to this once I come out of the Army, so I really love it. Uh, it's hard to give up. I'm 32 years old now and I thought, man, it'd really be nice to do what I wanted to do when I was 16. I think it's an excellent sport. I think it, it shows a crafting and workmanship that you can do yourself. For this do-it-yourselfer was no easy task. Les Schwenk claimed to have built this car from the first plans of the Edsel. Well, I've got a 1965 uh, GTO that I've owned since 1965, and it's all original except that I got it going backwards. Most street rod fans wouldn't miss this event for the world, even if it means trading a Hawaiian holiday for a high-performance honeymoon. We both enjoy car shows, and we do it all summer long. And as far as the honeymoon, I think it's great. I wouldn't rather be anywhere else. No question, the Street Machine Nationals offers a good time to many, and others heed the commitment to perfection. For those looking for official recognition, pro judging exists for the elite, and you can be sure every car receives a thorough analysis from the experts. What we're looking for here is the judging on the overall car appearance, uh, basically from the tires right on up to the very top of the car. I've been doing this for about three years now, and it seems that the quality of the cars is just picked up every year. Uh, you get a lot better engine compartments, a lot better paint jobs, new and innovative ideas all through the cars. No, this is all labor of love. Uh, it's just something we've done since we've been teenagers and kept right on going. We get a little bit more sophisticated every year with it. All this sophistication has to start somewhere. I just bought a body for $400, okay, and had it towed home and stuck it on barrels and just took it from there. Basically took a 350 and we punched it out, okay, to 60,000, so made a 383 out of it, okay? It's basically stock other than you Chevrolet high performance parts. It's not as wild a street machine because for some reason we just wanted to be able to drive it on the street and not have problems. As with any motorsport event, each has its own personality, its special reward. And for the past three days, the Street Machine Nationals proved more than ever America's love affair with the automobile. You know, those aren't just pretty faces out there. That kind of ingenuity and craftsmanship is what made America a great automotive leader. This new generation just might keep it that way. Stay tuned for more of the exciting world of speed and beauty.